Yo, 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 what's good with my people? You rocking with your boy, Mr. Lewis, and I'm going to do a quick review on these five top books that I think help me really propel my mind as an entrepreneur and get me to the next level. I'm happy to be alive. All I want to do is provide and live a healthier life. Read and sit back and write and keep feeding my appetite I know you feel the vibrations, there's value in these sensations I'm studying all the grapes and just soaking up information That's what reading will So, here are the books right here This is on my list I have more books that are on my list uh, That help propel me I just don't have The actual book with me I'm just looking up into my, my, my uh library right now so the two books that i don't have with me that i will definitely say help propel me is think and grow rich and rich dad poor dad those two are on my list but they're not on this list that i have with me so we're just going to talk about those two books in another video so back to what i was saying these are the five books the first book is number one the acid alkaline food source this propelled my mind to really understanding what alkaline is, what acid is, alkaline, which is the pH of seven and which is average, you know, neutral. Anything above that is alkaline. Anything less than seven is acidic. Acidic foods cause disease in the body. There are a lot of acidic foods that are formed in the body due to digestion, which is meat, dairy, and all types of uh, dead things that we don't need that create, um, yeah, bacteria and, uh, you know, pathogens to other uh, viruses and disease and stuff like that. So this book right here really, really just helped me just really get my mind there because I felt like man, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. You can think better, live better, be better, see better. You know what I mean? Uh, number two, Steve Jobs, different. You know, this was one book that really inspired me to just think a little different. You know, it just it really opened my eyes up to just the capability of just um, vision. <clears throat> you know, it really opened my mind up to vision and commitment, having vision, knowing that you want to do something, seeing it and then staying committed to that vision is what I learned from this book. Um, and I think, you know, people should probably be, pick it up if uh if you know anything about Steve Jobs and want to hear his story, you know what I mean? But uh, number three, the book is Championship Fathering. I'm a dad. I am. I have three little ones. And I'm really trying to be a better father. You know, I get on my parents about they, they parenting. And my mom tells me, well, we didn't have no book. They didn't tell us how to raise you when you was coming up. They got books. They got books. So you parents nowadays don't have no excuses on why your, your kids don't have the best future ahead of them right now and why they can't be on their way to just an entrepreneur and living that lifestyle that they want to live as kids because it's possible now. The internet is doing so much stuff for us and um, you just got to take your opportunities while you can, you know, don't get stuck inside the, inside of that mindset of just, you know, the system. But this book opened my eyes to just more fathership and more understanding, slowing down, connecting with the kids, trying to get on a level, actually getting on a level, like kneeling down to their level, eye to eye with them, talking listening because sometimes i can be doing what i'm doing and they like that and i'm just like hey what yeah yeah hey let, let me finish doing what i'm doing you know what i mean S slowing down and going out to seek and see and giving them that attention this book has really helped me identify with that so that's a good book right there another book is life strategies life strategies by dr phil man this book really opened up my mind to just understanding that you are in control and you either get that or you don't. And that's one of the rules. That's one of the laws. There's about mm -hmm. 10 to 12 laws, I believe. And the first law is you either get it or you don't. And that's just that. You know what I mean? 
you either understand that you're in control or you don't. And if you don't understand that you're in control in your life, then you will continue to blame the decisions you make on circumstances around you. You know what I mean? So this book really helped me understand uh, that, like, I, like I'm saying, you're in control. You can't be depressed. You cannot have social anxiety and all these other um, uh, conditions that these doctors make up. If you understand that you are in control, you're in control of your mind, you're in control of your thoughts, you are in control of the people, you are in control of the way people treat you. You're in control because you either allow it or you don't. So don't tell me that, you know, it's anybody else's fault. Just own up to your decisions. Own up to where you are in your life and keep on being accountable for what you're doing. So this will help you be accountable. You knowing who you are and what you need and what you want out of your life and doing nothing but that will keep you accountable. You know, you got to stop doing for people just because you're trying to make them happy. Make you happy first. If people don't understand that you need to make you happy first in order to make them happy, then those ain't the people you need to be around. Straight up, I'm trying to tell you, you better listen to Mr. Lewis. I got the game. I got these books. These books give you the game. You know what I mean? And my final number five book that I will say has really opened up my mind. There was another one that I had. I had, and it was called E Squared. Man, that book right there was on that, that next level law of attraction for you. But this book right here, Secrets of the Millionaire Minds. This book right here, man. It's so awesome. This book right here, I actually just found $120 in this book. I don't know how long the, it was sitting in there for. And uh, I don't know when I put it in there, but I was just getting the books down. And uh, I found $120 in it. You know what I mean? So that was that was really a, a good thing for me to find. So I don't know where that came from, but it was in here. Uh, so this book really opened up my mind to the process of manifestation. The process of manifestation. Do you know how to manifest things into your life? And if you don't know how to manifest things into your life, let me tell you right now. The process of manifestation is P, which is your program, which is how your parents raised you. That's your program and how you were raised. Your programming leads to your thoughts. How you were raised leads to how you think. How you think leads to your feelings. Your feelings leads to your actions. Your actions give you your results. So if you can continue to remember that on getting what you want out of life, then you will understand how to control your mind a lot more. I'm not saying you're just going to be just the 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 ultimate mind controlling person, but you'll be able to know how to control your thoughts a lot better to get the results that you want for yourself. So being happy, being happy is a result. Being having money is a result. Having things are results. So you have to go through the process of manifestation to get the results of being happy or to get to whatever it is that you want in life. So if you want to be happy, it starts with your program. You have to know how were you programmed? How was your family members or your parents to you, which caused you to be happy or unhappy? Your programming. Now. Based upon your programming, how do you think about yourself? Are you happy about yourself? Are you happy about the things you have accomplished in your life? Are you, are you not? You know, you have to think about that. Now, as you think about those things, they are going to make you feel a certain type of way. Either you're going to like them or you're not going to like them. And if you don't like something, you usually feel like, I don't like that. And when you like it, you feel like, hey, I like that. You see, my energy has changed. My actions have changed because of how I feel. My feelings have led me to my actions. And if I feel good, like I do when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to say, man, I'm about to knock this out. I'm about to get up. I'm about to do this. Uh, hey, little girl. Stop it. I'm going to say, this is what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm going to accomplish. And because I feel so good, my actions are going to lead me to that. 
And when my actions are leading me to accomplishing what I want out of life, I have the results. So don't let nobody tell you you can't be happy. And don't let nobody tell you money is going to make you happy. Because like I said, money is a result. Happiness is a result. Money is a result of what? Of certain ways you think, to get, feel, to have. That has nothing to do with happiness. So, the process of manifestation is one thing that, man, this book has really opened my eyes up to. You know, it has opened my eyes up to think it, feel it, do it. You know, if you, if you think about something like, man, I want to do this, feel it, man. Think about it until you feel it. Like, tell yourself over and over again how great you are until you're feeling great, until you want to do great. You know, it, it has opened my eyes up to acting in spite of fear, acting in spite of worry, acting in spite of doubt, acting in spite of discomfort. You know, because I'm a musician. I have to be around a lot of people. And sometimes I have to take action and just whip out my box, my speaker box and go in front of a crowd of people and just put on some music and I got to do it, man. You know, so uh, hi. it's taught me to commit to my growth, commit to the growth that I see in my life. Yes. And commit to my young ones right here that I that I got to continue to commit to. You know what I mean? And it's also opened my eyes to the order of success. And that is be, do, have. You got to be something and able to do it in order to have it. You got to be a healthy minded person in order to do healthy things in order to have health, good health, you know. So it's just the process of that. So I'm, I'm telling you, man. Secrets of the Millionaire Minds is going to get you there. So get y'all this book and read away. Read away. What I do is when I'm in here, if you can see it, I got lines. I got notes. I, I write down in my books. I underline stuff. I, uh, let me see. Look, I underline stuff. Mark it up. And then what I like to do, if I can show y'all real quick before things start getting too out of control and y'all like, man, this dude is just going on for days, days. What I like to do is this, if you guys can see this, it's getting pretty dark here, but I like to write the most important things down on my wall that I like. And I try to own them. I try to own them. I try to own those thoughts. I try to take those thoughts in and become one with those thoughts so that's all it's about man check out those books continue to own your life take accountability for what you're doing be healthy and keep striving and you got to be around people like me and other people like me like i'm saying yeah there's more people like me be around get some good people get some exercise get you some good food in your body some organically grown local food and you'll be good all right y'all hey it's mr lewis again subscribe like this if you like it and let me know what you think. All right, peace to all my future entrepreneurs and all the entrepreneurs out there. Get with me.